I was very weird back in the day when I first started using Instagram. I was like a purist. I was like, no, I will only uh, upload pics that I've taken with my phone because it's Instagram and it's for pictures that you've taken with your phone. I don't know where I had that idea from, right? So for quite a while, Instagram for me, it still kind of is like just a fun space. But at the same time, it's also been great for business, right? So when I first started out, it was only pics that I'd taken with my phone. But then I realized that a lot of other photographers were using Instagram as a proper portfolio. And I was now lagging behind because if I'm only showing, oh, here's my crappy morning coffee of the day, who cares? <laughs> So my first thing is, what is the story that I want to tell with this image, right? So is it just, um, am I doing a classic sort of like a overhead shot or am I doing something where there's a bit more of a scene setting? So if I'm photographing, say, a stack of biscuits, am I going to incorporate uh, maybe the things you'd have? Like, so would there be like a coffee pot? Would there be a teapot or whatever? What is the scene that I'm trying to set, right? So once I've got that idea, then I start looking at colors. Then I consider the color of the actual food I'm taking uh, and also maybe some of the ingredients because some foods don't really look that photogenic like when you're photographing a curry for instance curries are brown so if I'm just going to take a bowl and put brown stuff and photograph mm -mm, that's not going to make you want to make that recipe or you know go out and buy that bowl of curry or whatever so I have to think of garnishes and things like that and I consider the colors of that so once I have like a color palette in mind then I will select the props that, you know, um, that complement those, those colors. Photographs are a 2D medium, right? You want to make things pop off. And uh, everything about social media, everything is so visual. I mean, if you're following like over 5,000 people on Instagram and you're just scrolling through your feed, uh, you want your images to kind of like stand out so the person scrolling through is going to be like like comment that kind of thing so you want images that kind of like jump out at you and what helps is when you bring in different textures I think the important thing for Instagram is just to have really good content uh, and just be and just engage engage with other similar accounts comment but don't be like a weirdo where you follow people and then unfollow and leave um, I know there's bots that do this for people where you sign up for a thing and uh, this bot will like automatically comment on posts but they'll say up stuff like great shot but you're not really I mean anyone can say great shot but if you engage with the person say oh that's such a cool shot but I like how you use the light here or oh I love that prop then people are like oh th this person's really interested in what I have to say let me go and check out their account and see what they're doing but I think now it's important to kind of have a strategy if this is now what you if you if you don't if you're doing it for fun then I say just go in and do whatever you want right you don't really have to care but if you are someone who's now got a business or wants to you know sort of uh, go towards like thought leadership or being sort of like an influencer which is like the word of the day um, then I think you got to have some kind of strategy so you got to know who you're talking to and how your content speaks to that audience. It's, it's a lot like just basic marketing 101. So in post-production, again, then I'm going to consider, is this like a moody photo or am I going for a light and bright look? So if I'm looking for a more moody photo, then um, I'll just go to my Lightroom sliders and I'll play around with like shadows and contrast. Uh, I use the tone curve quite a bit because there's a lot you can do with the lighting. Um, there's a nice thing, a trick, maybe it's falling out of favor now, but everyone was into that whole analog matte look. So you could do that very nicely with the tone curve. You just pick it up in the corner and instantly your photos have that, they call it crushing the blacks. So the blacks have that kind of like matte look in the photo. It kind of annoys me when people flood their feeds with too much of the same thing. Um, like I follow some photography accounts and they'll be shooting at an event, right? And then suddenly I will only see stuff from this event from them in like 10 or 15 posts. And I'll get a bit annoyed because I'm like, okay, cool, you shot the event, but like either pace it out, don't like flood, or maybe use it as a, a gallery because you can do that in Instagram where you can put multiple images in a post. Maybe do that so people aren't like kind of, oh, it's the same old kind of thing. 